Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Kyle's Daily Bad Words of Wisdom. I've got some awesome facts lined out for this uh, amazing Saturday. Um, been waiting a long time to do this. It's getting cold enough, people. And uh, I got a good excuse as a drywaller to carry this around everywhere I go. But it's time for some uh, white boy heat. Oh, that's how I do. That's cheating. Propane. That's how we do. So check this out, people. We got some uh, WTF. While I say nice and cozy in my van here. Ooh, buddy. I'll let you know if anything blows up. Check this out. All right. These guys. The Red Swastika Organization has nothing to do with the Germans. This is a Chinese organization, and it's the equivalent to the Red Cross in America. I wonder, wonder who came up with it first, though. Charles the Sixth, uh, yeah, Sixth of France, suffered from um, debilitating mental illness, where he forgot his name, his children, his wife, and even the fact that he was king. And um, on occasion, he uh, was under a paranoia that he was made of glass. And he was afraid that everyone was going to break him. Um, I just talked to someone that had a mental illness where his, his I believe it was his father, believed that his his believed he was a banana, and he was afraid everyone was going to peel him. Shout out, Mr. Kreiner. This extremely rare and majestic golden tiger has less than um, 30 in existence. I know, awesome looking. I love the forehead. It's kind of cool looking. I bet there's some people wearing that. That's lame. He looks so awesome, like a teddy bear. I hope you guys saw that. It's freaking way cool. And here we go. Las Vegas has an amusement park that lets you drive large construction equipment around in an oversized sandbox. So you can pull, pull out the big old trucks and, you know. That's awesome. I want to go digging. That's funny. I want to get on the back of a tractor. We need a tractor. Anybody? Come on. Donate a good tractor to a good farm. We'll, we'll, we'll grow some wheat. Let's do this. In 29% uh, of uh, San Francisco's air quality comes from China. Literally. All of it just goes somewhere else. We here in Central Oregon, we actually produce as much um, air admissions as some of the bigger cities, like even New York, because some of the in industry we have here, and it all just floats to other big cities, causing a problem somewhere else. We don't get the fog and congestion like other people do, because they don't have a huge, um, uh, you know, the, 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 the environment and breeze, you know. They don't get stuck in some bowl. That's what happens where uh, you start seeing all that late night smog. If you've ever lived in a big city with that, it's kind of gross. When I wake up in the morning and it's like beautiful orange and purple skies, I know it's not because of uh, crap in there. Because that shit floated somewhere else. Ha <laughs> ha, Central Oregon. You gotta love it. If you come across a stranded dolphin... Don't be an asshole. He's fine. He is no doubt trying to, uh, he has breached himself on purpose because he is sick or injured and is actually avoiding drowning. So, they do need to breathe air. They need to come up every so often for a good gasp of air. 
And hi yo, shout out to America. Americans work 137 more hours per year than Japanese workers. 160 hours more than a British worker and 499 more hours per year than a French worker. So, there she is. And I don't know what it is about hair that is so hard. It's a very minute thing in a 3D. Um, it spent, they spent three years for Pixel to, to figure out the physics of curly hair to render it um, in the movie Brave. And I was just talking about yesterday about uh, the bear from Toy Story 3. It's kind of the same deal, but um, just really minute. There's a lot more going on there than the rest of the environment, you know. And it has some physics of moving, not just a straight strand of hair, which might get affected by the air or other things like that. All right, and this right here, on a final disturbing note, um, there is one species of fish that is warm-blooded, like us, and it is called the uh, opera, or the uh, limpus gutturus, and he is freaking ginormous. He's round as he is huge, man, that's probably a 300-pound fish. That's awesome. So there you go, people. There it is. Enjoy your Saturday. Yo, get it on. Get it done. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.